Oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be there. You know, I'm sorry. Uh, Michael Einbinder, Schatz, Joe Becca Technology Group, another episode of Tales from the Dark Web. Uh, interesting information about hacks and breaches and ways to keep yourself safe in this crazy world we live in now. Uh, the first story I want to tell you about today is from MDA. That is the State of Israel's Aid and Disaster Relief Organization. They got breached and all their entire medical database was exposed. Okay, now what does this mean? Well, they were able to, with the hack, uh, pull information out of the uh, database that compromised, basically showed people's medical conditions. All right, and this um, was responded to uh, relatively quickly, but it is a significant, significant breach. There is nothing more valuable out there on the dark web than medical information. Uh, this was rated as an extreme, uh, extreme breach, which means it's the highest risk. And basically the negative impact for business is a breach of this nature and it can influence relationships with customers. Any company getting hit with a breach like this, um, could, can lose customers. And for individuals, um, <clears throat> obviously the risk is with medical information being out there. I, again, I, I cannot overstate that. Item number two, Discus, uh, an exposed database. Discus is a network uh, community platform. It allows users to blog or comment on um, other companies' websites. Now, they had 17 and a half million records that were compromised and roughly one third of them compromised that were compromised involved passwords. So the data that was out there really uh, put the customers at risk for um, identity theft uh, more than anything else. Now, again, th there's a piece of good news here in that the passwords uh, were hashed so they can be a little tougher to crack. Uh, but that said, the data was exposed. Uh, this is listed as a severe, which is one step below extreme. Uh, but again, individuals who were hit by this, uh, their data are at risk, a much higher risk of identity theft. Third item on here, the final one, Tumblr. No one's ever heard of Tumblr, right? I know I haven't. Um, <clears throat> so Tumblr, obviously the blogging website, they um, found a bug uh, in their code that basically exposed uh, companies' email addresses, uh, or excuse me, users' email addresses. And they found it through something called a bug bounty program. And that's where uh, a business that has a public facing website um, or any type of develop, any type of code development um, has a bounty program where they'll pay for people to discover bugs. This was discovered and um, remediated within 12 hours. So that's excellent, excellent news. Now, uh, the bad news again is that the email addresses were out there. Um, it was only, the customers impacted were only those that had recommended blogs on Tumblr. So again, if you have a blog on Tumblr and you're not one of the recommended blogs, well, I guess that's great for you in this case. Usually you'd want to have the recommended blog. Um, in any case, all of these things highlight examples of where um, having your company domain scan to see if email addresses are showing up with personally identifiable information or your own email address, your personal email address, your family email addresses are um, exposed. We offer services to help you with both. So please click on the appropriate link. We have links below to read more about these breaches. Um, fill out the form if you want your company domain scan to see about breaches. It's a free service that we can offer for you to test it out for you. And I'll close with the ASMR moment. Crinkly, crinkly, toss, toss, toss. Have a great day.